What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you my colony of Discord roaches. Now, some of you might find this gross, some of you might find this fascinating, but the Discord roaches or the colony that I have of these roaches, I feed to my bearded dragons. And it's very important to have feeders on hand and especially if you have multiple reptiles, I find having some sort of roach um, to be beneficial, especially for bearded dragons. Now, why don't I have a colony of dubia roaches? Well, believe it or not, dubia roaches here in Canada are illegal, but Discord roaches, they are allowed. So definitely something to look into if you live in Canada get a colony of disco roaches and i'm trying to show you guys but they are hiding underneath the substrate they're a little bit more skittish uh, uh compared to dubia roaches from what i've seen on video oh my goodness <laughs> so underneath the substrate you can see some movement of the discord roaches they're a little bit slower when it comes to breeding and growing up but they're definitely really fast compared to i guess dubia roaches look how quick they are holy i'm trying to take one out for you guys ooh, ooh. okay dude oh all right oh whoa hey, oh my god why is you climbing my arm no hey where'd it go oh no oh no where'd you go what the hell did it fly no way okay this is a problem okay i found it all right this thing is fast as you could see it just booked right back inside <laughs> goodness but what i wanted to share with you guys is just a quick setup of what i have them in um i have them in this like bin I have some egg um trays in there as well as you know a carrot that i go on and feed them now these guys they will eat just about anything but they're super neat and my bearded dragons absolutely love them i wish i had a bigger colony of these guys um, that I could just feed my bearded dragons all the time. But you could see some, you know, babies as well as some adults. Look at that. And they're super skittish, but they're definitely a lot similar to dubia roaches. So if any of you guys out there need a colony of roaches, I should be having some hopefully very soon. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to get this guy come to. Oh my god, come on, come on, dude. I, oh, jeez. Now the setup for these guys is pretty straightforward. I added this substrate to try it out. It is just coconut husk. And you can see like the little babies in there just running around. And I kind of did that because I noticed that the babies were getting eaten by the adults. So by doing this, it kind of gives them a little bit of places to hide compared to just hiding here where the adults can sometimes eat them. But you could cover the bottom pretty much with other types of substrate. I see people feed them um, or put some of the chow down there that they can eat as well. But I just use this coconut husk um, down there. I could add humidity if I need to. And these big guys don't, oh my goodness. Those big guys don't go and, and try to eat them. And if they try, at least the little ones have a chance to hide. And once I scoop all of this up, you could just see, you could just see how many little ones pretty much are running around in there, which is pretty cool. But the colony is still pretty small. I just got a, you know, very small group of male and females and they just started to give out some babies. So hopefully I can make future videos on this colony um, and it thrives. As of right now, I am keeping it at a temperature about the high 80s, 85s, um, and definitely keeping it well maintained. That way they can continue breeding and producing. Now, unfortunately for this guy, he did not make it. And you could just see Saturn, holy snap, hey, hey, okay. He just loves these guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. A little bit crunchy because he's probably a couple days old. But come on, dude. <laughs> it's like eating a roach chip. You still want it? Oh, oh, okay. You can't eat the tongs, dude. Come on, eat this guy.
So what I did to give them a little bit of a treat, I got my mandolin and I started to just shave a little bit of this carrot on top and you'll start to see the little ones start to come up. Pretty much I'll put some down here as well. That way the ones that are hiding could get some too, but super easy to take care of. And I would go in there and I would give them different types of food. I do like giving them carrots as a treat. I find it gets them nice and plump. So definitely check it out. If you are keeping a colony of Dubia roaches, it's a pretty similar setup to these guys, but these guys are permitted to be here in Canada. Unfortunately, our government doesn't like dubia roaches for whatever reason i don't get it but these guys are allowed and they're pretty much the same um just slightly different but hopefully this video was a little bit informative i did want to just make it quick just to show you guys that i have these guys set up if any of you guys are looking for any and you are here in canada reach out to me on instagram and i'll hook you guys up with a small little colony once i get these guys going so with that being said I'm Lord of Lion, keep the blood pumping, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.